Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with chicken and mushrooms. And that's it. That's right, we're going extremely minimalist to prove a point that using the proper techniques, even a two-ingredient recipe can be incredibly delicious. Now, I'm not counting salt and pepper. And of course, I need some oil to saute and a little bit of butter to finish the sauce. But other than that, no ingredients. So here we go. I have two boneless chicken breasts. The skin has to be on, though. Skin very important for the flavor. And a big handful of thickly sliced mushrooms. I'm going to salt and pepper generously both sides of the chicken. And then we're going to go over to the stove where we're going to find the other key element of this recipe, a stainless steel pan that can go in the oven. So this is very important, as you'll see, because all the magic is going to happen in the pan. So we're going to put this over medium-high heat, a couple tablespoons of regular olive oil, not extra virgin, just regular plain olive oil. We're going to get that nice and hot. You can see that kind of shimmering. See how that looks? All right, it's not smoking, but it's hot. We're going to lay our chicken down, skin side down. And we're going to let that sear, basically without touching it, for about five minutes. All right? And you're going to develop this beautiful brown crust on the skin. That's where a lot of the flavor is going to come from. So we're going to flip that over. That looks amazing. I'm going to add my mushrooms around the chicken. All right, there's going to be plenty of oil left to saute those mushrooms. A big pinch of salt. We're going to turn the heat up to high because mushrooms give off a lot of water. So nothing's going to burn. And we're going to cook that for about five minutes also. And what we want is the mushrooms to shrink up a little bit, release that liquid before we throw this in the oven. All right, so that's about five minutes right there. I'm going to throw it in a 400 degree oven for between 15, 20 minutes, depends on the size of the chicken breasts. I went with an internal temperature of about 160, which is going to raise up probably to like 165. All right, use your own safety guidelines. I'm going to take that out of the pan. I'm going to put it on a plate and just loosely tent it with foil. I want it to rest for about five to 10 minutes. I don't want it to cool off too much, but I don't want to wrap it tight and steam it either. All right, so just like that. We're going to place the flame back on medium high and we're going to saute those mushrooms for about five minutes. Now what's going to happen here, the juices from the mushroom, the juices from the chicken, all right, all those brown bits when we did the initial sautéing of the skin are going to caramelize onto the bottom of the pan. And what do we call that? Pop quiz. That's right, a fond, F-O-N-D. And when it looks like that, we are going to add plain water. And I know some of you are dying right now. You're like... Add some wine, add some acid, add some vinegar, add some something. No, this is an experiment, an exercise, an extreme restraint. I want to taste just chicken and mushrooms. So we're going to put about a half a cup of water in. It's going to reduce really quickly because that pan's super hot. When it reduces by about half, okay, there's about a quarter cup left. Turn off the heat. I'm going to add any accumulated chicken juices from the plate that the chicken were resting on. A little chunk of cold butter. All right, just keep it moving, keep it moving. As soon as the butter disappears, you're done, and you're left with this incredibly beautiful, emulsified, very light, incredibly flavorful pan jus, which just means pan juice, natural juice. Taste for seasoning, salt and pepper, because those were our only legal seasonings here. Spoon that over your chicken, and you're going to experience the incredible flavor that just basically two ingredients can produce if you use the proper technique. Now, some of you are very frustrated right now. You're thinking, I would have put this. I would have put that. Well, of course you would have. One of my goals with this video is that as soon as you finish watching, you literally get in the car and run to buy the ingredients to make this dish your way. Now, since I have to post this on my blog, foodwishes.com, I put a little parsley from the garden on top for some color. And besides, since I grow it and it's free, it doesn't really count as an ingredient. So there. Now, while this may seem on the surface to be sort of a beginner's exercise, I really want you experienced chefs and cooks to try this. All right? Sometimes all those rubs and marinades and spices and herbs, they become almost like a crutch. And we sort of forget about the natural uh, flavors underneath. So this is just sort of a little culinary meditation, a fun experiment. And what did it taste like? As predicted, fantastic. It's it really shocking how flavorful that natural jus is. And the mushrooms caramelized, the chicken roasted perfectly. Just a great experience. Just pure flavor. Chicken and mushroom.
So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Head over to foodwishes.com for lots more information and the ingredient amounts, or at least what I used. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.